Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss out on any deals and future videos. In front of us, we have the Midland ER50. This is an emergency alert weather radio with AM and FM as well. I bought this off eBay for a total of $40. I'll have links down in the comments section and video description for you guys. Also, when it becomes available on Amazon, those links will be there as well. Uh, pretty neat radio, replaces the ER210. Uh, so let's get to it here. So emergency alert weather radio. So for 40 bucks, yeah, kind of expected the quality I got. A decent radio. Flashlight, weather alerts, AM FM radio, solar charging, and it includes a 2600 milliamp hour uh, button cell protected cell uh, battery. It's nice. Picture of the radio. Got a house with some lightning going on there. Pretty freaky. I'm not a fan of lightning for sure. Look at what social links there it looks like. Go visit them. There's their address. Okay. Top of the box and the back of the box. Kind of goes over some bullet points. So if you're looking at this at the store, because I think Walmart will sell this also. They tend to sell the ER210 at this replaced. Um, so there you go. Pretty basic. We'll go over all these features. Let's go ahead and open the box up, see what we get. Now my box came sealed. That's kind of nice. So you know nobody's been in it. It hasn't been returned or anything. So factory sealed. When you open the box, you will uh, have protection on the radio. It'll have a little screen protector here and a uh, light protector for the front flashlight. Uh, mine's removed, of course, because I already had it out of the box. So let's remove the radio. Let's see what we get in the box. We get a cable to the right. And we get some instructions on the bottom. I think that's it. The box is empty. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the cable. Yep. <laughs> the wonder. Can you wonder what it is? A micro to regular USB cable to charge the radio and to charge devices. Um, it's got a fairly long cord. Cool. Uh, we get a manual here. Looks pretty basic. I'm going to kind of zoom down a little bit. It's kind of a pamphlet style. So just kind of accordions out here. Let's so get it all out. All right. So let's kind of flip through really quick. Quick start guide for you guys. I'm trying to take my thumb in the way. I do this in case you lose your manual. You'll have it in this video for eternity as long as YouTube stays in business. <laughs> I don't know how long that'll be, but who knows? Could be millennia. Yes. <laughs> and there you go. Address again. Flip it over. Share some more instructions and warnings. There's your uh, frequency and channel uh, orientation for the NOAA weather band. Nice. It's good to know that. The thing about this radio, like the 210, you can toggle it to show frequency or show channel for the NOAA weather band. And we'll get into that. So we're almost done here. You got a limited warranty. I think it's a one year warranty. And then I think on accessories, it's 90 days. Okay, so we're done with the directions. Let's go close out of the way and get to the radio. Here it is, the ER50. Doesn't look too bad red on red. It's got some black border here. So dimension wise, uh, this is five and seven eighths of an inch, so almost six inches in length here. Uh, height, we have a total of three inches. And in depth, we have one and three quarters of an inch. So let's do a little size comparison. I always like to do this here. So we got the, you know what, I gotta bring this up. <laughs> So yeah, we got the radio in the middle. Let's see, we got the brother, the old, the older. Uh, this is the uh, 210. So I'll give you an idea. Kind of put it side by side there. Hopefully you can see that with the red on red. My hands there. Kind of gives you an idea. What I like, the big difference is the display is much bigger on the new one. The buttons are nice and laid out, larger. Uh, this, I am a fan of that. I do like the built-in handle of the older model. Uh, speakers are about the same size and they sound similar. The lighting's a little different. We'll talk about that when we get to the lights. Solar panels, um, since I have these out, the solar panel on the 210 was larger than this one. This looked more of a cheaper style. This looks more of an expensive style, so I don't know if they do the same output, but uh, it's very minimal. You shouldn't rely on the solar as much. The dynamo cranks on the back are fairly similar. We'll talk about those. Uh, replaceable battery, and of course, on this one had a replaceable battery on the bottom. Okay. So there's that. Right, so little features there while we did size comparison with that radio. Here we have a CC pocket. Give you an idea. This is a weather radio as well. 
weather alert. Just doesn't have all the big batteries or solar dynamo stuff, but they are awesome. And then we have CC Skywave. Always keep that around for size to give you an idea what a small shortwave radio looks like. Pretty close. And of course, last but not least, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Midland emergency radios all day long. <laughs> yeah, no rhyming there. Okay, but you get the idea how big that is. All right. So the Midland. Okay, you know what? I do. I think I'm going to do a contrast. We're going to put a little board down here because that red is pretty red on it. There we go. That looks nicer. And I'm going to zoom this down. So up close and personal here as we go over the features of the ER50 because everybody's probably wondering what's new. Well, it's pretty much the same as the 210. It's got a similar style flashlight, but this one here, um, it has low, high SOS, just like the old one. It's got a rubber switch here on top, um, but it has a warmer light to it. And I like that. Uh, and it's got a broader beam. So the, br the beam is uh, wider, so it's nicer for inside the house. Uh, the 210 was definitely more of a pointed beam. So you'll, this light is more usable indoors. The other, one was better at the outdoors. Um, right away, you can see uh, it's got a nice large LCD display, which shows our battery life. It'll show our volume uh, strength over here, not signal strength. I thought it was signal strength at first. I was all excited. Uh, it has a 24-hour or 12-hour clock you can choose. Right now, I have it at 12-hour, showing 11 p.m. at Central Daylight Time near Chicago when I do some tuning. Bottom buttons, we have a power on button. You got to press and hold for three seconds to turn it on and press and hold for three seconds to turn the radio off. It's kind of a pain, but that's that. And it's also the band select, so AM, FM, and weather band. Up and down volume controls, pretty basic. Up and down tuning controls and also selecting in the menu. Over here, we have the weather alert. So you can hit weather alert at any time when the radio is on or off to turn it on. So right now, it'll be scanning the station you set it to. So if I set it to my channel 5, which is my strongest station, if I get an alert, it'll, the radio will turn on and it'll start telling me what's going on. So that's pretty neat. You can turn it on or off. And you can listen to the radio FM and that while that's running. So it's, it's a bonus feature. Um, of course, menu has functions, which we'll talk about when we get to that point. Here we have our speaker. Again, small, tinny sounding speaker. Don't expect much on an emergency radio typically. Uh, this is about an inch and a half in length. Right hand side, we have the typical uh, earphone jack, USB jack for output for charging devices and our input jack to charge the radio. Now let's talk about the headphone jack experience first. Um, I noticed on FM, it's mono, it's not stereo. Didn't expect it to be stereo, but I kind of was hoping. Um, it's light on the lows, strong mids and good highs. So it sounds pretty good for pop music and um, rock and roll and classical music. Anything with a really low heavy bass uh, just wasn't uh, doing it justice. Uh, no low level hiss either. So no hissing that I could tell. Uh, that was nice. On AM, it has a low flat tone, uh, neutral sound, great for sports and talk radio. Okay, so our output jack here, the USB output for charging phones and other devices, it's okay. Uh, I do only use it in an emergency. I tested it with my USB tester and it sags. Uh, I hooked up an iPad to it. It should have pulled over about an amp, but it pulled about three quarters of an amp and it pulled that voltage down to about 4.7 volts, which isn't good to see. Um, so it's not great for a power charger. Like I said, I only recommend it for like a small phone, uh, charge in an emergency only, uh, because at that rate, it'll take a while to put any kind of charge to the device. If you're charging something smaller, like a small flashlight, um, it'd probably be better. Uh, something that with a low draw to it would be great. So that's that uh, power bank feature. It's not the best, only use it in an emergency. And of course, our input to charge the internal battery, which we'll show you, which is removable. So it's got a rubber jacket here that makes it kind of water resistant. That's nice to see. Our carrying lanyard instead of a um, built-in handle. Uh, you may like that. You might not like it. I actually don't mind it. It does stand up nicely. On top, we have our switch for the light I talked about. We have that solar panel. Like I said, I think the solar cell is a little higher grade because the original didn't look as uh, sharp as that, I think. The original, well, the original has fingerprints on it, so that's that's a good thing. Let's get that. But uh, yeah, it's it seems more like a basic cell, and the new one looks like it has like a higher density to it or something, or maybe it has a diffuser over it. Might be that. So, but uh, it's just solar. It's passive. It's probably 80 milliwatts, <laughs> very small amount of power, not even 100. So, um, I would recommend just uh, using it passively. Um, don't, don't rely on it to charge your radio, use a dynamo. So the antenna, 
um, is 12 and three quarter inches long. So it's it's not bad. It actually does very well on FM, which we're gonna get to. This pivots and even has a little well here. So it pivots almost 360 degrees. So you get that station in, not bad. And then in the back here, we have the Dynamo. Now the Dynamo is interesting. It is a, a pop-up style with a flip-up nub here. This little dude flips up. Now I don't really like that. I think it did for space saving. So when you're spinning this Dynamo around, what, what tends to happen is it tends to go forward and you're like, it's kind of awkward. So you gotta kind of push and pull as you're doing the Dynamo. So you keep that from falling in as you're spinning it. So you'll know it's kind of awkward at first, but then you can master it with a few turns. But uh, yeah, I don't quite like that yet, or it's different for me, but uh, I'm sure it's not a big deal for most. <laughs> I thought I'd mention that. Uh, and then we have our removable battery. So the battery is going to be kind of tough. Let's see if I can get this on camera here. This battery compartment's pretty tight fitting, so let's see if we can pop it open. I think I'm going to turn, turn the radio on. Come on, battery compartment. Yeah, like I said, very tight fitting. Wow, there we go. <laughs> so there's our Midland battery. Uh, 2600 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts. It's a protected cell, button top. Um, neat thing about this, it's replaceable. I can pop it right out right now, but I don't want to reset my clock. So what I what you can do is you can invest in, like, say, Orbtronics. This is a great cell, by the way. This is a 3500 Japanese uh, Sanyo or Panasonic 18650GA. And they just recode them and put their protected circuit on them. And this will fit right in here. No problem. And then you can upgrade your capacity from 2600 to 3500 and have a really awesome battery in there. But this is pretty decent as well. So expect decent run times with this battery. Let's so click this in here. Yeah, it's pretty tight fitting. All right. And of course, the bottom's nice and flat so it can stand up. Do you like that? All right. So we're going to talk about FM reception and we're going to turn this on. And I'm going to do some band scans. I'm going to do FM, AM, and weather band scans so you get to see how that goes. So FM reception report, I like to go over the radio. Uh, I sit up in a chair uh, in the same spot of the house when I test my radios for FM. Uh, same time of day. Uh, so we get a good reading. This one did phenomenally well. Um, so I do it in five tier. We got fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, this one scored good to very good. It found a total of 73 stations, which is amazing. An average analog radio, such as this clunky old GE, gets about 48 stations, puts in the okay to good category. It just shows you how well this radio operates on FM. It blew me away. Loved it. Also, um, FM selectivity was good. Uh, some of the stronger stations did bleed over, but I was still able to find those fainter uh, stations by moving the antenna around. And so selectivity wasn't as big an issue when it was going for faint stations. So neat setup. I like it. For FM, it's a great radio. Typically what you'll be using it for, uh, I, I would use it for FM mainly. Uh, so yeah, there you go. There's that. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to do an audio demonstration. I use a C-Crane FM transmitter too, along with an MP3 player hooked up to it, broadcasting royalty-free music. You can see I got something playing right now. So I'm going to turn it on. I should be tuned to that. Okay, long press. I always forget. The other one's short press. So 92.9. We'll turn it up. Oh, we're at a blank spot, I think. There we go. Run this for a minute or two.
Okay, an idea there. What I want to do, I almost forgot to show you, is the menu button. So the menu button, uh, while the radio is on here, you, as you notice, the frequency in the clock goes back and forth. Kind of annoying, but at least you can still tell what time it is. Uh, there's no alarm feature. I wish it had an alarm clock since it has a built-in clock. You'd think it would have an alarm, especially being an emergency radio. That is one thing I wish they would add. But let's go look at the menu. So we'll press the menu key, press and hold, and now it, you can choose between 12 or 24 hours for the clock. You can set the clock. Backlight is off. You can turn it on. So it's on all the time. You can also set it for five seconds. I'm leaving it off because it helps. Otherwise, my color balance gets kind of wonky. So as you can see, it just changed. We're going to change. We're going to make that to off. Okay. So backlight off. That saves power too. FR means frequency for the NOAA weather band, so it'll show frequency or channel. So CH means channel, so channel 1 through 7, or frequencies. I like the frequencies. I'm used to looking at that, so we'll leave it on frequency. And that's pretty much it in the menu. So, And of course, like you saw, listening to the radio, you can have weather alert going. You see it flashing there. Let me bring that up so you guys can see that. There you go. Flashing away. So if a weather alert comes in, we'll be notified. Let's turn that off. Okay, so what we're going to do is a NOAA band scan. So let's go ahead and get to our NOAA weather band. And we'll start at the bottom here. There we go. We'll see what we can pick up. Now, during the day, I picked up five of the seven, which is really good. So I'm going to raise my antenna here and move some boxes. All right, we're going to see if we can pick up anything. Let's turn this up. Once again, at Milwaukee, it was 64, under mostly cloudy skies. A few marine observations at the Sheboygan... So I was picking this up earlier. For tonight, there is a small chance for thunderstorms tonight into early morning Wednesday. And now the extended... Boy in northwest Indiana, mainly after midnight. And now the extended outlook for the period Wednesday of showers after midnight. Lows in the lower 60s. Chance of precipitation 60%. Sunday through Monday, partly cloudy with chance of showers. Up to 30 miles per hour. Thursday night knots. Chance of showers and thunderstorms through the day. Wave once of of showers. Lows in the lower 60s. Highs so, in the lower 80s. There you go. That's why I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on this one. Then when you hit the weather alert, <clears throat> it'll automatically turn on or go to the station if you're on another radio station. So let's go ahead and go to the FM band. Turn that off. And we'll do an FM band scan. So tuning, you can press and hold, and it'll go all the way down, which is nice. And it, it'll stop at a station if it finds one. If not, you can hit it to stop it. So we're going to go up the band and see what we can hear. I'm going to go ahead and move some radios again <laughs> out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and turn this up. Unfortunate things, I'll just put it that way, some ungodly things. You mentioned the evil atmosphere in the house. And thanks be to God, in spite of... Caleb, inside the music. This is Chris Brown from Elevation Worship. Return to the family estate in order to administer its shuttering. It <laughs> Books are sold from Thomas Nelson Publishers, a supporter of K-Love. You are amazing. Not only are you talented, but... Imagine the people you can call up tomorrow or the emails you can send out tonight. Western Conference Final between the LA Clippers and the Phoenix Suns, Nigerian, Bahamian. Christ Jesus, so we can do all the good things he planned for us long ago. Yeah. First American.
Network and has the best loan deals in town with great rates. Directly to Wesley Financial. We can every single day. That's why I guarantee we will cancel. We got quite a bit downstairs here. Heineken, where others see annoying splashers, we see immediate refreshment. Powered by the U.S. Army, they're strong, and then there's Army Strong. Learn more about the U.S. Army at... So one of our five restaurants which span a range of culinary genres. Whether you indulge in a savory dish, you can use And now, we can set back. There's many adventure and maintenance mechanics. But you'll always be the home I want to go home. Save your tears for another dollars in minutes, and your cash can hit your bank. Exciting. But to come back to play him again, Obi-Wan Kenobi, has been absolutely brilliant. Progressive's home quote explorer. Multiple quote options. So you can play like super coop for the man Cooperman. Seven at popcrush.com. More Pop Crush Nights next on 97ZOK. With 24-7 customer service and Picking up a lot while I'm pressed. Hopefully get to the FM band scan. I got the AM band scan to do. <laughs> a little quicker. Okay, <laughs> that was a good band scan. All right, so the AM band isn't very good. Uh, it's good for locals only, some semi-local stations. I'm going to show you that uh, during the day. But in the evening, I did pick up some stations around 500 miles away. Let's see what we can pick up tonight. Five sixty local WIND Chicago. Um, and we're proud of that. I have the best radio show in radio history, according to my employees. Michigan WTZO. Music here is WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Not bad, it's coming in good. Six, savings are mail-in rebates, some exclusive. 
Exclusions apply. See store for details. WSCR Chicago, home of the Cubs. So WLW 700, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, about 300 miles away. Hey, this is John Williams. Not a day goes by we don't get a call from someone like you. 720 WGN, Chicago. Dad again, or their grandma and grandpa again. We are reconnecting. And maybe... You Six, uh, sorry, 740 Zoomer Radio out of uh, CFZM, out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, straight over the Great Lakes, so it's a nice straight path. Comes in usually really nice. Just picking up the WSB Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I think it's 600 miles. Not bad. This guy's talking faster than me. <laughs> WGR Detroit, Michigan on 760. Nice. Oh, good. Cool. Seven seventy is uh, WABC in New York, New York, seven hundred fifty miles. Didn't it get this last night? Getting it now though, good deal. Go to salthunger today dot org backslash get help to find a local food pantry or food WBBM Chicago. A difference by donating or volunteering today is. Okay, this is 810. Uh, this is Albany, New York, 740 miles, WGY. Reaction to the latest sports news, insights from the national experts, and the info you need to bet on all of today's action. We call that major Betql Bet QL shows are now streaming live. WCCO. Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. And Barkley and Moore, all new shows from... Here's a grin on his face, and then he grabbed my head and twisted it, and I first the crack. Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Now I'm just going to kind of go up the band really quick. I had a... No, 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 it's not a link. Continue to have to skip. From the West Coast Conference Finals. There was a group. WBZ, nice. As they turn 100. Hey, that's cool. Oh, that's Boston, uh, Massachusetts. That is about 880 miles. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go all the way to the top. I'm just going to hold this. And uh, we'll see if we can pick up 1700 here. Got to wait, tick, 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 and then we'll do final thoughts on the Midland ER-50. Yes, uh, it's not doing too bad for this evening bandstand. It is clear skies outside, so it's probably why. Um, let's see, we'll stop at 1530 so we can pick up Cincinnati. WCKY. KXEL. Uh, 
CAJJ in uh, Toronto, Ontario. Top of the band. Okay, you can hear him. Uh, KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Press and hold. Long press. There you are. So now it just goes to the clock. So the Midland ER50, does it get recommended by? Uh, yes, it's a really good, well-made um, emergency radio. I really like the light function. Um, the larger display is really nice compared to the ER210s. Um, yeah, you can bring these out again show you the difference. Uh, I do like the bigger display than that. I like the bigger buttons, much easier to use. Um, I do like the 210s bigger solar panel, but again, it might just be an older style. And I do like it's a little wider body, but it, it, they still sit the same, which is nice. Um, as far as traditional antenna, I like this better than this internal antenna, which if you break it, you're done. There's pretty difficult to replace unless you can open this up. Uh, this one here, if you break the antenna, it's standard. It has a screw you can undo and add a new whip to it, which is a very nice setup. Um, that does happen to people. <laughs> they don't want to buy a new radio, just buy a new antenna. So there it is. The Midland ER50 gets a recommended buy all day long. Check out the link, support the channel, get yourself a nice weather radio. Uh, pretty happy with this one. Uh, like I said, well-made, cool product. Uh, Midland does make quality stuff. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, too, um, if you want to see more Midland uh, reviews, there's another one they made. I think the ER10, if I'm saying that right. I don't know. I might be off on that. But uh, ER20, there's a, a lower model. But I'm going to give that a shot. It runs on AA batteries. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified of that review. And three, comment below what you think about the ER50. Uh, would it be uh, a radio you get? Will you upgrade your 210? Uh, or you just going to keep your 210 and you're happy with that? Or if you don't have one of these yet, would you be picking this up? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.